This is JP Morgan and Adelaide Lauren. We're here to talk about six different ways you can establish credibility on your website. of the sales process is done on your website. So you need to establish credibility to move your clients through the sales funnel. What this means is, is that people who haven't worked with you before, they're going to go on your website and they need to know if, if you're legit, if people trust you, if there's a social proof that other people have used you and you're good, um, and so they can want to use your services. So we're kind of getting past the point, I mean, as I understand this process, we're getting past the point of pretty picture websites to websites that call people to action. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so the first way that you can establish credibility is to put up a testimonial on your website. And these usually have the picture of the person, their name, and a short quotation. Not your mother. The higher their credibility in the industry or in the market of the people you're trying to uh, market to, the better that testimonial is. And so if they're a person that's really well respected in the world of whatever, then they're going to be a much better testimonial for you. Mm -hmm, that's right. So let's say that you're a wedding photographer and uh, after a shoot you have the bride just start saying the most wonderful things about you. So what you want to do is after you get home you write an email um, thanking her and then you, you write exactly what she said and ask if you can use it on your website. So that's a great idea. You write it up for her. Mm -hmm. Using her comments you write it up for her so she doesn't have to do it. All she has to do is say yes you can use it and you're off and going. Yes exactly. Great idea. So you can do this with art directors, you can do this with high school seniors if you're shooting the seniors or the parents can write the review. And then you can put up their picture and put it on your website after they give you the okay. Very good. That okay is very important so that they, they truly have given you permission. These are things they're comfortable with you saying that they've said. So, so what's number two? All right. So number two is something really fun. You can actually embed one single tweet into your website. So if someone um, tweets at you after a shoot or says something great about your work, so maybe a blog says something really good about you or a celebrity, you can embed that single tweet into your website. What do you mean embed it in your website? So each tweet has its own embed code and you can embed that tweet into your website. So you can see that one tweet from, you know, when JLo said something really great about you. If you do want to embed tweets, I would recommend embedding like one to three tweets. I think that's a good number so people can see um, different tweets or you can even have those uh, rotate if you have a testimonial then you can have a tweet under that and then another testimonial. So are these tweets that. coming from your tweet feed? Are these, uh, I mean what makes this so different than just the testimonial? So what it is on Twitter is that you're going to have their picture and you're going to have their Twitter handle and then you'll have what they said and so you don't have to go after them and get the testimonial. They've already tweeted something at you. So you can post oh, that tweet at you. So the third one that you can do is you can put up your social media following and people can see how many people follow you on Instagram, on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you have your following. And that number is a really good social proof they can see, well, 10,000 people think this guy's good. I bet he's good. It helps give you legitimacy and helps people feel confident that you really know what you're doing because people are following you. It kind of makes you look like an expert is what it does, it moves you to that category. If you're not an expert, don't sweat it. Another great thing you can do is put logos of the companies that you've worked with. So let's say you've done something for Frito-Lay, you've done something for Sony. You have the pedigree and that's what you want to show. The images that you've done for clients that really give you legitimacy. I've used that word twice now, legitimacy. Yeah. We're talking about legitimacy today. <laughs> and what's so great about having your logo in there is that people recognize these logos right away and when they're big companies, then it, it carries a lot of weight with it. Number five, you can put logos of magazines or popular blogs up as well. Now remember, of these five things we talked about, it's not that you're going to do all five of them. You're going to pick one or two or maybe three of these that will help represent you and to help give your page a lot of legitimacy because we're using that word a lot today. Yes, and we actually have six ways like we announced at the beginning. That's right, and there's one more, and this is the most important. So number six is, is like a customer testimonial, but instead you're having a testimonial quotation taken from a newspaper or a magazine or a popular blog, and you can have those on your website, and that also helps you have a lot of legitimacy. Because legitimacy is what's all important here today. But you know what, you may say to yourself, but I don't have any articles about me. I don't have any magazines that are written about me. Then write a press release every time you do something that's, that's worthy and send it into mm -hmm. your local paper. Send it into other blogs. You can write those press releases and send them in and they will get printed nine times out of ten. You do the work, you send it in, then you can take that quote and put it back on your web page because it's not that you didn't do this amazing thing, it's just you're the one that wrote the article about it to make sure it got in the newspaper and then you can quote it back on your web page. 
Exactly. And so these six things are great ways to show your credibility. I would choose one to two of these things depending on the industry that you're in. If you're doing commercial things, you want to show more logos and great things about your work, especially if you're working in, you know, if you're working in fashion, that's always really good. If you're doing um, portraits, you want to have testimonials of people are really important. So if somebody is comparing wedding websites and they're looking at it and they see that you have great testimonials, people like working with you. So not only do they like your images and the other person's images, but now they see this person has a great personality and, they, and I'll be happy working with them. And so they'll, they'll want to choose you. So these are six things that will give you legitimacy. You need to be legitimate. So people think that you're a legitimate photographer in a legitimate market doing legitimate work. And if you want to be even more legitimate, join our business coaching class where we teach you how to be legit. In a legit sort of way, because legitimacy is what it's all about. Too legit, too legit to quit. So just to wrap this up, take a look at your website, apply some of these principles, go there and choose two or three, like Adelaide said, and make some changes on your website to give you a little more credibility. I won't use that word legitimacy anymore. Thank goodness. We're done. <laughs>